All right. Um, before we move on, I forgot to hit uh, record when I started restructuring. Uh, I mean, uh, you need to organize your, your script folder a little bit because we're getting more scripts now. So I added a camera folder for our third person camera, a combat folder for our anything related to combat, uh, our two controllers in the controllers folder, and a player folder for the player uh, classes. Nothing for the shared yet. Okay. So, uh, with that said, uh, let's start with creating a reloader for our weapon. So we want a weapon to reload. Um, it could be possible that you sometimes have a, a weapon in any game, you don't need it to reload. So we're going to make it separate from the weapon itself, from the shooter itself. So let's make a, a, a reload um, script for it. So let's make a new uh, weapon reloader. Um, we might uh, bring this to the shared uh, eventually but for now we're gonna keep it here so let's open it up get rid of the, uh, the initialized stuff uh, let's make a few properties uh, one for the maximum ammo we can carry then we're gonna take um, a float for the reload time so the time it will take to uh, reload a weapon and we need a clip size, so how much ammo we have in our clips. Um, as usually, the serialized fields are only for setting it in the um, setting our properties in the inspector. And from there on, we use uh, private variables to do the calculation with them or assign them anything. So let's make a new ammo counter for it. Um, we also need um, to hold uh, our amount of shots we fired. So shots fired in clip. And we need a float for reload time completed. Uh, maybe we're not going to use this one because we're going to use the timer. We're not making our own um, timing, timing script in the reload. We're going to use the game manager for it. Uh, and the bool for is reloading to check if we are currently reloading. Now let's create um, a property for uh, I mean uh, yeah a property for the uh, rounds in rounds in clip remaining rounds remaining in clip whatever remaining in clip which will tell us how much well rounds remaining we have it's not internal it's an integer so it. This will simply uh, return the clip size minus the shots fired in clip. Fired in clip. Okay. Uh, it will compile, I think. It doesn't look that weird. Uh, oh, yeah, we need uh, an ending bracket. So let's make a new uh, public bool is reloading. And this will return the is reloading property, which will tell us if we are currently reloading. Um, yeah, so let's make a, a public uh, method um, to uh, to start the reload. And like I said, we're going to use the timer for it. But before we um, Want to reload? We need to check if we are if we not currently are already uh, reloading. So, um, if uh, reloading is reloading, we're gonna return out of the method. Um, otherwise, uh, we can uh, create the timer method to make sure we, when we are ready with reloading. So first, we say is reloading equals true. Now we make the uh, a private method uh, for the execute uh, reload, where we were we are uh, really uh, executing the reload. So and the reload will be um, first. We're going to say is reloading is false. So we are oh, wait, false. So we are ready with reloading. Then we assign a new ammo. So then we say uh, ammo. Uh, we remove the uh, shots fired in the clip, which is 
when when uh, when we f fully fire it, it will be like the amount of the maximum clip size, and otherwise it will be like the amount of bullets you have shot. So we're going to remove those from the from the clip. Um, then we're going to say shots fired in clip equals null, so we get a new uh, clip. And uh, let's check if the ammo counter uh, gets below zero, because then we need to uh, uh, give it back to the um, to the shots fired. So shots fired in clip equals. Uh, I mean, we are going to add the minus ammo. So if we have minus five ammo after. Um, after reloading, we're going to add those to the shots fired again. So we because we don't have enough ammo. All right, um, this should work. Now let's go to the game manager. I mean, let's get the instance of it, the timer, and what we're going to do. We're going to add a new callback for execute reload, and we're going to execute it in um, reload time. Yeah, this should do it. Um, let's check it real quick. Okay, now um, we're not gonna going to uh, attach this to the um, to the shooter itself. We're going to add it to the weapon and let uh, the shooter detect the weapon reloader. So then you can like uh, sometimes use. A weapon reloader sometimes you don't so let's open up the shooter and um, we need to add I'm not really sure why we have the muzzle public but we're gonna keep it like this all right um, let's make a private weapon reloader reloader yeah this tells me we, we need to put a weapon reloader in the shared uh, later, because we're gonna access the weapon reloader from our uh, fact from our uh, framework, uh, small framework. So we're gonna switch it, uh, switch the weapon reloader to the to the framework as well. Um, okay, let's say a reloader is get component a reloader, weapon reloader. There we go. Now, when we are firing. Uh, we need to check if we can, if we, uh, if we, uh, if we are allowed to um, shoot. I mean, if we have an, uh, uh, I'm sorry, if we have a weapon reloader, we need to check if there's still ammo uh, to fire. So let's, uh, when we are, according to the to the rate of fire allowed to fire, let's check if we got a reloader. So if reloader um, not equal no. We say if reloader is reloading, um, return. So we cannot fire when when we are currently re reloading. And also, if reloader uh, rounds in clip remaining, rounds remaining in clip equals no, we cannot fire as well either, because we have no uh, no more ammo in our clip. So we need to reload. Um, otherwise. Um, when we are when we have fired, I mean we are firing here, so we can say um, uh, reloader. Uh, we don't have a method for it. I think. I mean we need to, yeah, we need to take ammo from the from the clip, or even say uh, we add shots fired. So let's make a public void. Uh, yeah, let's call it take from clip, which takes an amount of ammo we are deducting from the, uh, or not really deducting, but we are um, adding it to the shots fired. So let's say shots fired in clip, and let's add the amount. There we go. Now back to the shooter. Uh, we say reloader, take ammo from clip. Let's just take one. Um, then we should be able to fire. So let's see what happens if we go to the reloader and we make the shots fired in clip public.
check the uh, weapon rifle, the assault rifle. Like, all right, let's increase the rate of fire a little bit so we f fire faster. The maximum ammo is 120. Reload time, let's make it uh, two seconds. Clip size will be 20. And shots fired in clip is now public, but we are going to remove it. Uh, let's head back to the weapon reloader once more and just print out some debug messages here. Uh, reload, execute it. So that when it's ready, uh, print, reload, start it. All right, now let's go to the input controller and add a reload button, a reload key. Public rule uh, reload. Reload. And reload equals, I need to worry because I only have 5% left. Reload input uh, get key, key code R. Oh, let's hurry up. Okay, now let's go to the um, rifle script, assault rifle. And there it is. So we base, uh, it's only base five. So let's make a public. Uh, update. I'm sorry, public void update. And um, if game manager instance uh, input controller reload and uh, reloader uh, should be in. Shooter. Let's make oh, it's a private one. So let's make a function here. Public reload. I'm now I'm now going really fast to beat my battery. Hopefully. Oh uh, yeah, I know. So we're just gonna say if this is the case. We're gonna say reload here. I'm gonna. I'm, Reload. I'm gonna make a method now. Public void reload. Check for the reloader. If reloader equals no, we return. Otherwise, we say reloader reload. Okay, let's see if it works. If it doesn't, I have to add my battery power. Okay, I'm shooting. Let's hit R. Reload started. Reload completed. There we go. Uh, we finished in time. Since uh, I know we are not using the ammo counter right now, uh, but we will. Uh, do this uh, later in a new in a new video. Okay, thanks for your time, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.